Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if I'm visible as well as equally audible? Then I would be able to start right away. Let me just turn on my preview screen to see if I'm visible or not. Okay, I'm fairly audible as well as equally visible. Let me just lower down the quality. so that it won't affect the frame rate oh yeah so let's start right away so today we would be solving yesterday's problem of the day that is maximum sum of increasing order elements from n arrays okay the problem is quite clear from the name itself okay and this problem is related to arrays and it is a greedy problem it has a success percentage of 72% and this is a easy level problem now let us move to the problem statement we are given n arrays of m size each okay so suppose we are given this 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 so we are given 1 7 4 and 3 the first array is of size 4 fair enough then we have 4 2 5 1 This is also of size four. Then we have nine, five, one, and eight. This is also of size four. Find the maximum sum obtained by selecting a number from each array. So we need to select a number from each array. Okay, a number from each. Okay, this is the first thing that we need to do. Okay, and. such that the selected from the ith array is more than selected from the ith minus 1 array if the maximum sum cannot be obtained then return zero okay so not possible means we need to return zero so if there is not possible then we need to return zero if it is possible we need to return that fair enough so let's move forward suppose we pick up this one so one plus so we can't pick up one we can pick up 2 5 and 4 okay so let's move from the backward itself okay because if we take the last number we would get fairly a rough idea okay so we would take 9 from it okay the largest number then we would take 5 from the next array okay and then we can not take 7 we cannot take we can take 4 so 9 plus 4 is equals to 9 9 plus 4 plus 9 is equals to 18 to so total we have the value of 18 itself so basically what is the case is that suppose ek chhota number select kiya to uske agle wala usse kitna bada hoga suppose i select the number 1 from the first array then the consecutive array that is the next array कितना बड़ा ले टेन ले हंड्रेड ले टू हंड्रेड ले वन थाउजेंड ले वन लैख ले कितना ले वो तो मुझे पता नहीं है बट 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 वी नीड टू मैक्सिमाइज द सम सो यहां तक समझ में आ रहा है कि वी नीड टू टेक द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ओके बट इफ वी जस्ट रिवर्स दिस थिंग देन दिस बिकम्स क्वाइट इजी हाउ आई वुड टेल यू वी वुड टेक द मैक्सिमम नंबर फ्रॉम द लास्ट एरे एंड देन वी वुड टेक द सेकेंड मैक्सिमम फ्रॉम द सेकेंड लास्ट एरे and this would go on suppose we just took 9 okay and then we can take any value that is less than 9 so we just took 5 itself that is the largest from the second array then we went to the first array so we now know that this is 7 7 but 7 can't be there we can only take element which is less than 5 that is why we are taking 4 okay so start from the back itself okay just reverse the question reverse the question itself now as a plus b is equal to b plus a as these two are absolutely same then this won't affect the answer okay we won't need to handle anything further so what we can do is we can start we can first sort all the arrays why do we need to sort all the arrays suppose we have 1 2 then 5 then 7 then 9 if we know that we can take this 9 it is okay 
but 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 we want to take the second maximum then we can directly come to this value if we want to take the third maximum we can directly take this value if we want to take this number we can directly take this value so this becomes quite easy okay that is why we are moving forward after sorting so first we would sort all arrays or vector whatever is given so now we would start from the back suppose we take the last element from the back then we would take the element which is largest in the last array but less than 9 this is what we would do fair enough so let's now see the second test case Let's now see the second test case. So we have like this. Okay, let me quickly remove all this. Yeah. So we do need this only. Okay. So last, so last value at max can be three. So we are taking this three. Then we can take. Can we take six? No, we can't take. Remove it. Can we take five? No, we can't take it. Can we take four? No, we can't take it because that is also less than the last inserted element. So we can't take any values. If any value can't be taken, we need to return 0. That is why the answer is 0 for this one. And for this one, we took 9, then we took 5, and then we took 4. That is how the answer is 18. Now let us move to the coding part. What are we doing is we are taking hold of each of the vector. We are sorting it from front to the last. Okay. So after sorting, this would become like this. Okay. So let me just copy this output and then I would be able to tell you the dry run itself. Okay. So after sorting this, this would become 1, 3, 4 and 7. And this would become 1, 2, 4 and 5. Okay. And this would become 1, 5, 8 and 9. Okay. And then we are taking the start value. So start value is nothing but this one. So we are taking 9. And end is equal to m minus 1. That is last value. Okay. So end is equals to 3. Okay. And sum is now equals to 9 itself. Okay. Then we are moving from this. Okay. So if a of m minus 1 is less than the start. Start is what? 9. So is is this 5 value less than the start? Yes, it is. So, 9 plus 5 itself. Okay. So, then we would just apply it and then start ko increment kar do. Okay. Now, we have start is, now we have start is equal to 5 and this would be 9 plus 5 itself. Fair enough? Okay. Then we have the next value. Okay. What is the next value? Then we are again coming to the 7. This 7 is lost less than start. So what it would do is while the last value is greater than the start and we have an index left on the left hand side. So we would just do end minus minus. If we have exhausted all the index and we were not able to find a value which is less than the last value, we would return 0 from that point. That is we can't take any value. Else, we would simply add it to the value. That is, we would add this 4. And then, start will be again equal to 4. And then, end would be again equal to m minus 4. Okay. And then, we are returning this value. That is, 9 plus 5 plus 4 itself. Okay. That is how the answer is 18 itself. Okay. So, I hope this is clear. Still, I would wait for the next one minute to see if there is any doubt or not. Else, I would turn off the session. After the exhaustion of this one minute. So, quickly tell me if the, there is any doubt that is persisting or not.
Hey, man, let's, how are you? Okay, so we have only approx 15 seconds still left. You can still ask any doubt and I would be more than happy to explain it again. Since array is sorted, using lower bound is more favorable using the end thing. Yeah, lower bound, actually this is the easy level question. So it is kind of expected that you know, only know the basics of programming. That is why we were just doing the normal iteration. But as the array is already sorted, so you can consider using lower bound or using by uh, or using yeah lower bound is absolutely fine, okay, and that would uh, reduce the time complexity to n log n because sorting also has a time complexity of n log n and iteration also would take n log n only uh, the log n only for each element. So that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah, it's absolutely fine, Lalit. You have a lot of work.